Man, you know, I'm glad Ukraine got the funding they should have had a long time ago. People don't understand history. These politicians, the Marjorie Taylor Greens and shit, they don't understand history and the true evilness that can possess a human being. Um, even though I look at Green and, and get some people like that, Holly as, you know, just nut job MAGA over the top people, but they're nothing compared to Vladimir Putin. This is a man who will send hundreds of thousands of his own people to death, attacking a neighboring country so he can try to reconstitute the USSR and make himself remembered. He's every bit the egotistical, egotistical, maniacal maniac that Donald Trump is. Except he's, he's gone through the ranks. He understands the secret control features of Russia and basically has a hand in all of it. He keeps everybody happy by making sure everyone gets their little piece and the man's a master dealer when it comes to holding that together. He really is. He's done a great job so far. The propaganda machine, owning all of the television stations, all the things that Vladimir has done has allowed him to convince his own people of all these giant lies. And this is the crime that he'll pay for. All of those deaths he will suffer. I, I have to make, I, I want people to understand that the main thing that I brought back from my near-death experience was that God is, he has an incredible way of dealing with us, the evilness, the animal. And that is that God is nothing but love and understanding and, and beauty, you can, the, perfection, okay? Where I went was not God. I tell everybody that. It was a near-death experience. I was met by two little girls and, and some superior beings. It had nothing to do with God. God was over there and I was shown God and how everything is set up with God, okay? And that if I wanted that, I had to come back. But nobody escapes the information you created here or your responsibility because this, something you say today can reverberate down the halls of time to someone you never expected. And, and, and all of a sudden, that thought you had 50, 100 years ago comes to fruition. And that is your purpose for being here. Everyone is here to teach a lesson. We're all individuals. Every, every life is different than every other life. And that's one of the critical things about the way God has the universe set up to create us. And when we die, as Hammeroff and Penrose have stated, you know, we're a quantum being. And that information, that's what keeps us coherent. That, the information we create here, I'm not talking about the physical node changes in our brain. I'm talking about the changes in your microtubules and your tubulin. You have more tubulin than you have neurons in your brain, okay? This is a quantum information system in your microtubule system, and this is a smell, eye, touch, feel, sensory organ, okay, to relate to this environment. They're two different, completely two different things. When you have a memory stored up here, so when I go out in the morning and I go, take a big breath, all those memories come rushing back because of the smell up here is so beautiful, okay? That's here. But the information is contained in my microtubule system, the pure, complete, total information. Without, without the next place and without God, you would simply be information. You wouldn't, you, you, would, you would be a... No emotion, no pain, no hunger, no, you know what I'm saying? You would, without God after death, we would simply be information. That's it. And so that's why it's set up for us to go to this other place. Because then, again, we are who we were. 
It's, a, it's, a, it's an existence like this existence, but the next plane. Now, I've said it for decades, and I'll say it right now, okay? I don't know that there isn't more steps behind, besides this cleaning station where you go and you're not judged by God. You're not judged by the beings that are there, okay? You are now, once you get to this place, you're not just a ball of information containing every breath and thought you ever had. You, you're now you again. And that's what they told me. You were Laren before, you're Laren now, and you will be Laren after. And the perfection is, that information is there for you to review. You are now understanding because you're now a spiritual being. You're no longer an animal and you see the depravity and you can feel and instantly know exactly how your information affected other souls. And you have the ability to, if every person that Hitler sent to their death, Hitler lived their lives from birth to death. You don't just go, oh, I see they died and and you feel bad. No, No, it's not that kind of a thing. He will literally live their lives from birth to death as if he were them. Hitler won't know that he's reliving this life of someone because that someone won't know that they're Hitler reliving that life. I know it gets confusing, okay? But the only way for you to truly understand the depth and the nature of your bad decisions and choices, especially if you cause the death of another human being, okay, um, you that information you live it. You live it. You live it as that person experienced it. Nothing could be more righteous than that. We will all be judged by our actions, which is, you know, every Bible, every religion, all understands that that that's the only fair way God could do it. But this is how He accomplishes it because we do it ourselves. Once we're, we go through that process, we're cleansed. The information is there, but we're now a spiritual being and we can maintain this information and take it with us to God where all the other sentient people are and have gone through the same thing you just did, okay? And now you're not this destructive force being dropped in this halo of love and understanding. You're not, you're not scary. That's why the little girls were afraid when I showed up. I'm just a little boy, and I showed up there, and they were they were scared. The little one was more scared. The other one was scared, but they were like, and then she kind of got, I won't say mad, but she, she said, you're not supposed to be here. And that's when the other beings came up to me, and the whole process started. It's hard to underestimate the evils that some of these people are going to have to go through, even the ones that don't commit murder. Uh, the Hitlers and the Stalins, they will die and be killed, oh, so many ways, raped and pillaged and all the horror that these men caused because of their needs and their greeds and their animalism. They did it because they wanted it. They fucking wanted it, okay? Okay. They were the cause. They were the nexus of all the deaths in World War II. And they'll fucking live every one of them. Every one of them. Every person who died in that war because he started it, he will relive their lives right up to that moment of death that he caused. And then on to the next one. And there's plenty of time there because time and space are different there. Okay? None of them are going to escape judgment. But then you have people like Jeff Bezos, okay? Instead of using his money, now his wife, you see her giving all her money away because she knows she'll never spend it and doesn't need it. And she's trying to give it away to as many groups where she thinks, okay, they deserve it, you know, right? She's just making her own choices and decisions, but she's using it to try to help people because she knows that sitting and doing nothing is an evil. Unless... What you take is given back, it's evil, okay? So, uh, it's frustrating, you know? 
because they're getting away with it now. Okay, but trust me, in the end, none of them will escape their judgment. The one, the Jeff Bezos who would rather spend five hundred million dollars on a boat and then two hundred and fifty million on a tender. How many children that could have saved in this world? You see, he'll know. And it will be up to him if he's going to punish himself or not. I don't put my finger on the scale, you know what I mean? I don't I won't understand what he does and does not take responsibility for, but he will. You don't have a choice. Okay, I feel better. I had to get that off my chest. No one's going to escape the accountability for the wrongs you did, okay? And on a scale of, you know, uh me to Hitler is is zillions of positions, you know what I mean? I've done bad stuff in my life that I shouldn't have done, and everybody has. Learning to forgive yourself and understand why you did it is very important to gaining happiness. Being able to, to live with yourself, okay? is understanding why you did something. Yeah, it took me 30 years, but I got it done. And I am, I feel like I'm very rich and privileged. Uh, my hobbies, my UFO stuff, you know what I mean? Building, building custom bikes. All this stuff that I do just brings me great joy. But it's my friends and family that bring me the most joy. And I feel like I, I, I know what I'm supposed to be doing, which is talking to people who fear death. And what could be more satisfying than that? knowing what your job to end to, is in the universe, right? What could be more satisfying than that? I don't think there's anything that could be better than that. I feel incredibly rich because of that. I guess I just needed a therapy session. <laughs>